Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lab with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to search for a character, the first n number of uh, characters in a string. So, uh, okay, to use this function, we need to include string dot h header file. So, in this tutorial, you know, I'm gonna explain you what is the syntax of this function and also you know how we can use them with an example. Okay, this memchr function searches the array pointed by this buffer for the first occurrence of this character in the first count characters so if it is confusing don't worry uh, it will be clear when i explain that with the example okay so this memchr function is going to return the pointer to the first occurrence of this ch in the buffer and that character is not present in this string or the character array passed here then it's gonna return a value of null okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this function in our program so here just for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a string and we're gonna search for a character in the string in a specified length so for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create a pointer because you know this memchr function is gonna return the address of the first occurrence of, of this character that's why to store that I'm gonna create a pointer of, of type char and then we're gonna create a character array to store that string and I'm gonna call it as data and we're gonna initialize that so let's say learning lad rocks Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to specify the search character. So in this learning lad rocks, we're gonna search for this character. So let me call it as search equal to okay, we're gonna specify that later. Okay, next we're gonna use this memchr function. So it's gonna be memchr and as a parameter we need to pass the address of a character array you know which contains a string to search so here in this case it is data and next we need to specify the search character or the character to search in the string so this is the search here and next we have to specify how many number of characters that this function to search for this character so if I specify that 10 here and this function is gonna search for this character specified in the string in the first 10 character of the string so so in this case for the demonstration purpose what I'm gonna do is I want this function to search the entire string that's why that's why we need to pass the length of the string and uh, we can get that length using the str len function and we need to pass the character array which is data here and also this memchr function is gonna return the pointer to the first matching character in the string and we're gonna store that in our pointer p so it's gonna be p equal to memchr with the parameters and also you can see here you know the return is a white star pointer so we need to convert that one to cast star and I'm gonna cast that here okay this is it the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check whether the character we specified is present in the string or not so if that character is not present in the string this memchr function is gonna return a value of null so we're gonna check that I'm gonna use if p not equal to null then it's gonna mean that character is present we're gonna uh, print out the character or we're gonna print out the character stream or string from that character so I'm gonna explain that you know when I run this program so it's gonna be p here else it's gonna be a error message so I'm gonna say using the put as function character is not present okay now I'm gonna save this and uh, here we need to specify 
the character to search so in this case I want to search it for the character R so now when we run this program this memchr function is gonna search for this learning let rocks string which we specified here for the character R in the entire string because you know we have specified you know the length of this string here so let me see whether I can draw this okay let's assume that this is the data array which contains the string learning lad rocks as you can see here and you know another character is added at the end just to indicate that you know that's the end of the string here okay when now uh, we use this memchr function which we'll search for the character in uh, first n number of uh, bytes you know in this case it's gonna search for this capital R so what's gonna happen is when the function is used it's gonna search for the capital R in this learning lad rocks so here you can see the small r is present but this memchr function is case sensitive that's why it's gonna search for the capital R and it's gonna find that here and when it finds this character it's gonna return the address of this byte which contains the character so when we use this put as function to print out the character this put as function is gonna print out the string until it encounters a null character so it's gonna start printing the character from here so r o c k s and next it encounters this null character so at this point it's gonna stop because you know it assumes that okay this is the end of the string okay now I'm gonna run this program so execute compile and run okay you can see here rocks so the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one to small r so now the function is gonna search for the character small r in this learning led rocks and also you know this memchr function is gonna search from the beginning to the end because you know we have specified the length of this string learning led rocks you know here so mm. if I run this program you can see here you know you know it just returned the address of the byte which with the character r and this put as function has printed out the string until it encounters the null character from that returned address that's why it prints r n i n g space lad space rocks so the next thing that we can do is we can uh, change this third parameter so this third parameter is used to you know specify for first how many bytes it has to search for the character let's say you know till now it was searching for the entire string because you know we have passed the length of the string here so in this case I just want to search for the first five bytes for this character R so I'm gonna specify the five here okay now it's gonna search for this character R in this much character so first five characters and this R is present in this first five character and that's why it's gonna return the address of the byte which contains this character R so I'm gonna run this okay okay I need to remove this okay now if I run this you can see here RNING space lad space rocks so now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna change this file to so now this function is going to search for the first two bytes for this character r and that r is not present and that's why it's going to return a null value and we're going to execute the else part saying that the character is not present so i can see here character is not present similarly you know if i change this one to uh, any other characters you now which are not present here for example i wanted to search for the character f which is not present it also say that you know the character is not present okay this is it guys this is about the memchr function in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in the video and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial